Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here with another episode of the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mappers Paradise. And we have finally finished moving all of our stuff over onto the newest version of the map. And uh, we transferred all of our uh, wheat, soybeans, and corn from the previous harvest. Um, we have missed out on uh, our ability to sell during the uh, appropriate times here, I believe. Um, and so we missed, well, we didn't really miss anything for soybeans. We'll be able to sell those in the summer. Um, typically, I sell my corn in the winter when the prices are high, but we'll be doing that in the summer as well. Uh, and then the wheat, um, we did miss uh, selling that over the winter, but uh, it's not a big deal. It's not a lot of uh, a lot of crop. That was just one field worth. So uh, the other big update is you can see we've got snow on the map. Uh, I posted a tutorial video yesterday on how to get snow to melt. Uh, and so hopefully this is actually going to work since I set this map up and then turn seasons on. Uh, and so as a result of that, all of our fields are in a basic, uh, you know, already plowed, um, don't really have anything to do, um, which is good because we missed the fall season for tillage. Um, so we'll have a busy spring here. Um, and so uh, we also got the plow for the TLX came out in the last couple of days. And so I figured since we've got snow now, it would be fun to uh, see how this thing works. It's got some nice bright lights, which we don't need right now. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's plow the driveway up here and see if we can dig ourselves out, see how these mods work. I'm super excited to get to try some of this. This is a lot of snow as well. And uh, yeah, we've also got one other new mod, which I'll show off here in a minute, uh, that's going to help with our snow situation. For me, the mouse uh, control on this plow feels backwards to me. I have to push up to raise it and down. I don't know, I'm just used to uh, flight controls, I guess. Uh, but wow, look at this snow. This is some deep snow. We're going to have some trouble plowing this. Maybe I need to raise it up a little bit so that I'm not quite grabbing all of it. Give myself a little bit more traction on the steering. Oh, wow, this truck really bounces. That's fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. We can get flying with this, too. Just go ahead and back up here and then maybe push the rest of it onto the field side. Do, do, do. I've got the duels on this truck. This is a fun little truck. I've enjoyed playing with it so far. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of trouble I can get into with it. Hopefully we're not going to get stuck here. And uh, yeah, so we've uh, we spent a lot of time trying to uh, get the issues on the map resolved. I have been in contact with Mappers Paradise and he acknowledged uh, the issues that I posted some fixes for yesterday, so I hope those will make it into the next version. Um, no ETA on when the next version will be available. No ETA on when it'll be available for console, so um, stay tuned and uh, hopefully soon. Oh, we're bouncing everywhere. Alright, so this is working great. We just got a ton of snow. Maybe there's a bunch of uh, adjustments I can do on this plow. Let me uh, let me pull it up here. So if I do this, oh, I can adjust the curve of the plow. Maybe that'll help throw it farther. Let's see if I can get back onto the road. Oh no! Get back onto the part that we've plowed at least. Can I get a little bit more tip here to throw it away from the truck? Something like that. Oh, that's working a little bit better. There we go. And then if we just raise this up, back it up. Um, this is honestly, I think, the first time I've really done much with snow. I think I did a little tiny, tiny bit in uh, my Farmersburg series for, you know, just a few minutes. And uh, had a lot of issues with the plow that I was using. And so this is really exciting to have a good, solid working plow um, that's built to work with the vehicle that I'm using. And this is working really well. I'm probably going way too fast. 
We're going to leave this giant pile here at the end of the road and deal with it later. So I'm really excited to get started with some spring work here. I've got the new Deep Bander mod that I want to try out. Um, we've got some new tractors on the farm. And so we've got a lot of work. We've picked up a bunch of new fields, so it's always fun to uh, get to start working in a new field for the first time as well. Oh yeah, that's a lot of snow. We're having a hard time steering. I don't really want it all up here by the bins though. Tell you what, let's uh, let's park this back in the driveway and walk over to the shop here and pull out our other new mod, which I'm super excited to show off. So we'll just drop this here for a moment. walk into the shop here don't want the snow to get in and so over here we had our 6R with the bucket well now we've got the uh, snowblower by NMC modding this should be a fun mod to try out I have not used this before um, so hopefully I can figure this out here uh, looks like we're all hooked up. Oh, I need to unfold the pipe. And it's turning around. Do I have controls? I do have controls. I can adjust this up and down. I can turn it to the side. Oh, uh, what is going on? Why is it pointing that way? Oh, I have the bucket. It's probably detecting that as a fill point. Oh, uh, that's a little annoying. Alright, let's back up here and see if I can do it. Uh, how far can this thing throw snow? Okay, there we go. So let's turn this thing on and see how it's going to work. Uh, lower that down. And then, was it... That'll throw it higher. This will adjust the angle. And the way we... Uh, this isn't working. Why isn't it working? Lower. Hmm, what am I missing? Turn, I got the snowblower on, I got the pipe out. It just doesn't want to scoop up my snow. Well, this is a mighty disappointing. Did I forget, let me, did I forget to connect? I've got the PTO on. There doesn't appear to be any hoses. Let's double check this side. I mean, there's hoses, but it looks like they just go to the PTO. Uh, hmm. Turn it on. I mean, it's definitely starting up. Hmm. Let's see if it helps if I get onto the flat ground. No. Well, what am I missing? This is super disappointing. I can't imagine that it's just plain broken. I, I'm got to wonder if a uh, manual attach is messing this mod up. But I mean, it's running, which usually if it's a manual attach issue, the, it wouldn't be running. Uh, let's see if I open this because I know it was trying to go into the nearest container. Maybe this thing is going to try and spit it into a trailer and it'll start working. Do, do, do. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe if I do a control I. No. Oh, it's detected the bucket. It does not seem to be working. Alright, well, people, if you know 
how to use this NMC snowblower and can tell me what it is that I am missing, I would greatly appreciate that because I am completely unfolded as far as I can tell and this thing just does not seem to be doing a whole lot. <laughs> well that's disappointing. I was super excited to try out a snowblower. Uh, this is on the mod hub as well so I'm really surprised it's not working. Again, I think this has got to be a conflict with another mod that I have probably. Um, I've had issues with manual attach not working at times in the past. I could probably put a PTO on the front of this tractor. That might work better. I'm just going to put my front loader back on. And shut this thing down. So I guess we'll be finishing this up with the uh, tractor here, or the uh, pickup here with the front blade. I just want to get... Uh, get this driveway uh, finished out and I guess really since we're in spring let me just double check the selling calendar again I don't know that we've got a lot to do while there's uh, snow on the ground I think we really need to get into spring to start um, doing some field work and so I think I'm just gonna clean out the front of the driveway here real quick and then we'll jump ahead to the next days here. Um, you know, I'd probably just push this across the road into the ditch in real life. We're gonna do that. No. Boom. Oh, I'm super disappointed. I wanted a snowblower. Well, that should do it for now. Hopefully this uh, melts appropriately and uh, we won't have any problems. I'm going to just push this one last big pile up here um, out from in front of the semi because these big piles do take a little bit longer to melt, if I recall. And we do want to be able to get our trucks out if we need to. That is a big pile. This truck is a beast. I love it. Oops. Messing up the camera here as I try to control the plow. There we go. One last push over here ought to do it. Well, we're just making a mess. That's okay. We're going to tip the blade here and clean this up so we can get back up down the house down our driveway. Whoop, whoop. Man, this camera hooked up to the same control as the plow, giving me just a touch of trouble. 
I'll have to see if there's another uh, joystick control mechanism I can use to control the plow maybe moving forward if we uh, do more of this in the future. However, this seems to have worked really well, so at least uh, we're one for two on mods so far today. So we're just going to lower this down, put it on the ground, and we'll jump ahead and see if the snow is going to melt for us now. One other change with the uh, new map here, so um, I'm sure we've talked about this, but the sleeping point is back here. Um, but you used to like jump through the ground when you went to sleep. Now there's a really cool loading screen. Um, so we're just going to sleep for the maximum duration here. And we get this really cool loading screen, which is a screenshot of the uh, um, secret spot on the island out in the middle of the lake, uh, which I think we've gone to in previous episodes. So... Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's better than getting kind of a wonky uh, a view from the house. So um, we're now in early spring day two. Uh, I did set up uh, six day seasons again, I believe. Yep. So um, we should be good to go there. I don't really play on three day seasons anymore because it gets a little wonky. And I think nine day seasons is probably just too long for what we're doing. Um, so we're going to stick to six day seasons for now and see how it goes. And we're just going to advance another day here because we've got a ton of snow and nothing to do while the ground's frozen. And jumping ahead here, the snow melted overnight in large part. Uh, however, we do still have our piles on the side of the road here. Um, these should start to go away here shortly. Um, but the good news is, is we've hit the uh, just a smidge over freezing here uh, from a ground temperature perspective. And so we can actually, whoops, had the time sped way up. Um, we can actually get into the fields and start doing some work. Um, technically, we don't need to um, plow anything. We just need to get some fertilizer down. Um which we can do while we're planting so we might bust out that deep bander anyway just to um, kind of give it a shot and see how it's going to work and so let's go ahead and at least get some of that equipment set up and ready to go here and we're going to get the 9RT out and hook that up to the deep bander I believe so let's back him out of the shed here and uh, go get all this equipment set up and then we also need to start getting our planting equipment set up. And so we're just going to get this out here, make sure we get uh, that hooked up, get the hoses on. And we're just going to pull this up into the yard because we're going to have to fill it up with some uh, fertilizer here, which we don't yet have. So we're going to have to order some of that from uh, the local co-op and have it delivered so we can get um, this all set up and ready to go. Um, so for now, we're just going to leave this up here in the yard. And then I think we're also going to get the... Uh, planters pulled out and ready to go and I think those are also going to need some uh, fertilizer and seed we've got no materials uh, in the new setup here so we're gonna get all of that stuff delivered here shortly and be able to get all of these planters ready to go. So I'm gonna get these out in the yard, I think, um, so that we can at least start filling them up uh, here shortly. So I'm gonna put them right out here, and then we need to get our chemical trailer all set up. We need to get 
um, a seed tender uh, set up and ready to go for these. And so we are going to run two planters because we have a lot of fields and that'll help us cover more acres uh, in a short period of time. And so we've got the wheeled uh, version with the wheeled uh, DB60 there and then of course for the 8RX here we've got to have uh, tracks on our planter so everything matches up nicely. And we're just going to back this up as well, get everything all set up here so that when we get our uh, seed delivered and get our um, chemical all set up, we're going to be able to uh, move these around as uh, necessary. I'll we'll have to find a good spot to store this uh, snowblower I think is going to go into this other shed over here. Uh, for the time being and I'm not getting rid of it. I'm hopeful that I'm going to be able to figure out how to use that better uh, for the next winter season here uh, because like I said, you know, typically in the winter we're going to be selling um, some of our crops and so having a good setup to be able to handle that is going to be super helpful. So I think this whole tractor uh, for now is going to go into this other shed just to get it out of the way. It's a fairly small tractor, so it should fit in there. Um, I know that garage door is uh, pretty low. I've got the side door that's a little bit taller I could go through if I need to. But we're going to see if we can eke in here without bumping our roof on that door. Oh, uh, that looks pretty short. I think we're going to end up hitting our lights on that if we tried to get in there. Let's try the side door maybe. And I think that's going to be just a little bit taller. There we go. Yeah, this is going to work out. So I'm just going to squeeze in here because I want to put this, uh, don't hit the door. I'm going to put the snowblower right on the back wall here and get it out of my way. And perfect. Go ahead and, oh, it was already disconnected. I'll disconnect that. There we go. And we hit the door. Oh, we hit the trailer. Oh my goodness. Nobody saw that. We're gonna, um, actually, I said I was going to leave this in here, didn't I? Let's just leave it in here. I'm going to leave it in here just like this. There we go. That'll work. All that damage for nothing. I could have just left it parked. Ah, well. Let's see if I can close the garage door here. Good deal. I really love these sheds. Um, these sheds are really well done. Okay, so with that, we have verified that snow is going to melt for us, which is amazing. We've got all of our equipment here set up and ready to go for spring. We just need to wait for it to get um, filled up with seed and chemical. And so we've got all of that coming. And then the final uh, addition that I made to the farm here, just uh, going to close these doors real quick, is um, we got another uh, tillage tool. And I wanted to get a um, more of a ripper, but the one that I have had some issues with the mod. So in the short term, we're going to be using um, this 2623 um, disc. I'm pretty sure it's a 2623. There's a number on here somewhere. Um, but we'll, yeah, so, oh, there it is up there. 2623 disc. Um, this will work as a plow for us for the time being. I've got a ripper that I'm going to work on fixing the issues with it, and uh, we'll swap out to use that in the future. Um, so, But this is going to give us another fall tillage tool. I think this deep bander technically functions as a plow as well. Um, so that's going to give us some options um, to have, you know, just kind of two different um, vehicles out there doing different things. So... Um, typically, I would use um, some more heavy-duty tillage equipment to um, 
turn up the corn ground after we're done with it. So we're going to get uh, get some of that going here, and we've got everything all set up. So next episode, we're going to dive into the actual farming again and uh, be hitting all of these new fields that we've got. Um, we did pick up field 2 and field 12. Um, so we've got some, some new fields to start farming, and we're going to keep adding on uh, a few fields every season at, at a minimum. Um, we may try to expand the farm quite a bit after this next season. I just wanted to kind of get through one more season with what we have here um, right now uh, to make sure that we've got all the issues taken care of on the map and we're going to be able to keep moving forward. So um, I know the schedule has been a little bit crazy this week and uh, we've missed a few videos. We're going to get back on track, so stay tuned for a lot more content. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you are, leave a like, uh, subscribe. That's all for today. Ketterk.